Solar-powered households across New South Wales could have to pay an extra $500 for electricity this year. That's because they're still waiting for the installation of new smart meters. Without the meters, residents are being forced to buy back their own power. Here's Consumer Affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Stefan Jarnison is one of thousands of solar households waiting for a new meter. I've been waiting oh, six, seven months for my smart meter now. It means households like his are pumping all of their energy they generate into the grid for a small sum and then buying it back. It's important for me to have a net meter because it will save me money. It will mean that I'm using my solar in my home first before selling it to the grid. 270,000 people in New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia were affected when generous government solar rebate schemes ended last year. More than half of those were in New South Wales and those residents received 60 cents per kilowatt hour of energy fed into the grid. Now they receive a fraction of that. Mr Jarnison runs an energy monitoring business and he's analysed what the delay is costing. We've determined that for the average person, um, it's costing them over $500 a year in lost revenue. Complaints about the delays are on track to double since February and the Ombudsman is concerned about affordability. Some people now are getting bills that included um, energy consumed in the heatwave in February and soon they'll be getting the cold weather bills that are coming in. That can move a customer from being able to pay their electricity to going into financial hardship. The major retailers Origin, Energy Australia and AGL have all told the ABC they're working hard to get the installations done quickly. The Ombudsman says households deserve to get money back. I'd be expecting that retailers would be offering to backdate feed-in tariffs. Energy Australia is among a small number of retailers offering credits. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.